Hi, I'm Alia Ryans and I'm the Microsoft Word Wizard here at the Auspicious Arts Incubator. And this week, we're going to roll up our sleeves and talk about something that will take your word skills to the next level. In hot tip number 87, we talked about how to break up your document using page breaks. And I said you should use page breaks wherever you can and avoid section breaks because they get a bit complicated. Well, today, we're actually going to delve a little way into when and why section breaks are actually a really good idea. But first, the reason why I said to avoid section breaks whenever you can is because nine times out of ten, when someone comes to me with a funky looking document, and by funky I mean smelling really bad, weird formatting hiccups have happened because of the section breaks. I'm not going to go into why this happens, but just note, if something strange is happening, turn on your paragraph marks button, remember hot tip number 86, and investigate your sections. But don't be scared, section breaks can actually be really a great tool. Section breaks basically allow you to set rules for that section of your document that are different to the rest of your pages. So what do I mean by that? Well, say you want to have one of the pages in your document in landscape rather than in portrait. Well, what you do is you put your cursor at the bottom of the last page that you want to keep in portrait and then insert a section break. So then you click anywhere in the next page, the one that you want to change to landscape. You go to page layout in the ribbon at the top of your screen, select orientation and then landscape. And you'll see it will flip that page, but not the pages before it. To change the rest of the document back to portrait, you insert another section break at the bottom of the landscape page, click to the next page again, and then change the orientation again. And now you'll have one page in the middle of your document that's a different orientation to the rest. Right? So you can do the same thing if you need to change the margins on one page, but you don't want them changed throughout the rest of your document. You isolate the page that you want to change, like I said before, by putting a section break before it and at the bottom of it. Then you make the changes that you need to that one page and it won't affect the rest of your document. And then finally, do you work with page numbers? If you've got a long document, sometimes that will happen. Section breaks can reset page numbers to start from one again, but they can also continue numbering from the previous section. Now, I'm not going to go into lots of this in detail, but it's just something to keep in mind, because if your page numbers are not doing what they should be doing, section breaks could be the culprit. So just check paragraph marks, do you see any section breaks, and then investigate from there. So that's my quick overview of what section breaks are good for and what to look for if something's not quite right in your document. So that's it. Leave me a comment with any questions you have or suggestions for other things you'd like me to go over. Make sure you subscribe to our hot tips and check out our website at auspiciousartsincubator.org.